Well, I'm going to say something different than a lot of people are going to say. I think his soul is incredible. I feel his, his soul. <laughs> and um, I know a lot of people talk about his technique, which is astounding. And it also astounds me, yes. But I, I feel a real soul from him. And not just the bluesy things he plays on the guitar. I just feel a real warm feeling. Um, when I listen to him, I feel a lot of pain from him. I feel a lot of compassion from him. I felt like I knew Pat before I even met him just from listening to the music that he played. And um, I, I don't want to sound too esoteric about things, but it's, it's just the feeling I spoke of before, the feelings I talked about, um, the soul, the, the warmth, and the, the dark place he was coming from with the music. And um, of course, chords and melodies are, are all part of it. And the fact that he swings, uh, his time is great. He's very precise. He's, um, he's considerate, and he was like that as a person also. Deep, you know, emotional, a lot of passion. You know, Italian guy from Philly, routine. You know, at the same time, he, you know, sort of like outer space type seeker, you know. He's like that as a person. He's gotten in touch with himself through the music. He's, through the guitar, he can express, and through his compositions, he can express himself. That's what it's all about. There's a way Pat has about, specifically about playing minor scales over a lot of different uh, chords that a lot of people feel it necessary to think of a lot, a lot of things. For instance, um, most jazz tunes, especially bebop tunes that have a lot of chord changes, there's like a, a fear in people that there must be a different scale for each measure or for each chord. And there's, there's ways of getting around that where, um, with minor scales that Pat has done over, specifically over bebop and things like that, or over blues, when he plays some of his minor melodies, which are incredible. And I think I've gotten some of that concept down, and I teach that to my students. It's very valuable to me, because there's nothing that strikes fear in a student's heart more than to have to change a scale every two beats, things like that, and it's not necessary either. It strikes fear in my heart, actually. And we play so intensely and, and so dissonantly sometimes that one day in particular, he has this bust of Bach in his room on a statue. Know, a head on, on, a, on a podium type thing. And it was on the other side of the room. And uh, we were playing this real dissonant thing and, and the head just fell off the statue, fell on the ground you know, from the floor. It was, it was hysterically funny. I mean, it was just from the violence we were creating in the room, from the vibrations. I haven't heard a guitar player of any real note that has not copied some of his stuff and been influenced by him in the last 20 years.